Look, I know what you're going to say. What were you doing at Broom Bridge at half two in the morning when you don't live anywhere near there? Hmm? True. But sometimes you just got to get out and wander. You know, I was just listening to the radio on my mobile phone, having a wander around Cadra. You know, thinking of stuff. Stuff like... Stuff. Anyway, I'm walking across the bridge and out of nowhere comes this gang of knacks walking towards me in the opposite direction. I'm still holding my mobile. Now, I didn't want to just stash it and draw attention to it, so I took it in, dropped my head like you do, and walked that little bit faster. But they were walking towards me. And they're getting closer. And this little short ass comes up to me, no more than 13, and goes, All right, mate, give us your bleeding mobile. I'm like, No. Now, I'm terrible about this little fella. He practically on his tippy toes and still not at my nipple line. And I'm like, No! No, it wasn't me rude or anything, just, well, no! So I put my phone in my pocket and walked on. And what does this little bollock say? It was your mobile, or I'll fucking knife you. <laughs> no short arse. He's brandishing a knife. I'm like, it's not my phone. It's just a Nokia. I and mean, a shitty old Nokia at that too. I mean, for the money he'd spend getting it unlocked, he'd be better off buying a new one. I'd even take it out to show to him. Pathetic piece of shit. Buttons all falling off, screen all scratched. What does this little bollocks do? Pulls it out of my hand and legs it with his little scumbag mates running behind him like a gang of retards at summer camp. Sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. I'm pretty irate at this point. Yeah, it's a shitty old Nokia, but it's my shitty old Nokia. And I'd only learned how to use the radio function on the fucking thing. So I turn to chase. And what do I see short there do? Lug my shitty old Nokia over the railing and into the Royal Canal. Just bobs up and down for a sec before it goes under. Like a falling comrade. No, I'm sad for a minute. Because yeah, it's a shitty old Nokia that arsed all the people while I was taking a dump. But me and that phone? We had history. So I'd had it. Yeah, he stole my phone. And he logs it in the canal. Why 20 euro credit left on that fucking thing and all? I mean, call the talking clock in China. Or ring your man and tell him I'm dead something. But don't waste the fucking credit. And I can still see the little bastard laughing his ass off. So I say, fuck it. And I take on a run and fly and leap at this little bastard. And I'm going to deck this little bollocks, 13 year old or nothing. And I realise I misjudged this jump horribly. I'm over the railings and into the canal. Into the water, it's like concrete. And I come up, <laughs> gasping for air. And I can still see the little bastards leaning over the rail and laughing their asses off at me. And I can't swim. <laughs> Never been much of a swimmer, and I realise I'm in deep water. And I don't mean the community swimming pool development deep water. I mean the Royal fucking Canal deep water. And I'm grabbing onto anything, something to keep me afloat, as you know yourself. Condom wrappers and Smithix bottles aren't exactly known for their buoyance. <laughs> so I'm flailing around trying to... I turn myself around and I can't, and I'm just going deeper and deeper into the shitty canal. As a matter of fact, Dublin City Council should really look at that shitty canal. <laughs> Lucky as fuck. I mean, bring it up to your next board meeting or something, NB, clean up the filthy fucking mucky canal before somebody dies. It's just a suggestion. Anyway, I'm going down. I can feel the water closing in above my head. I swear, I can still hear my radio playing somewhere in the depths. <laughs> And I'm looking around for my mobile, and there it is, just floating right down in front of my face. And I reach out and grab it. I remember thinking, I can't believe I'm going to die to a Miley Cyrus song. <laughs> now, I don't know why, but I always thought I'd go out to something cool like Oasis or Blur or something. Anyway, I stuff it in my pocket, and my, my lips are sealed tight, so it's not to swallow any shitty water or anything else. And I, I've got this longing on me for air like never before. And I do what I open my mouth and swallow the whole shitty lot. You know, just to end it, finish it. And I shit you not, I swear to Christ, I start sprouting gills. Gills, like on a fucking fish. Gills. I'm sitting at the bottom of the car, these gills popping out of my neck, just flapping all over the place. Alright, I'm pretty relieved because I'm able to breathe, but I'm also pretty fucking horrified. I mean, how long have they been there? Where were they before? Why weren't they there when I was back in PE getting drowned in the community swimming pool, huh? Where the fuck were you then? Where were you then? Sorry, I had myself. Yeah, anyway, I'm under the water and I'm able to breathe. And I, I'm starting to be propelled forward. And I'm swimming. Me. Through this shit of nappies and Tesco shopping trolleys and old VW Beetle. 
<laughs> Tesco shopping bags. And I can see this little bastard. And he's still walking the canal, short hours. And I start swimming faster. And my teeth are gritted. And my gills are pumping. And just before I get to them, I rise up out of the water like a Greek god and I yell, That was a perfectly good fucking mobile! And I take it out and I hold it up high. <sighs> Based on the little bastards, is priceless. <laughs> oh, and a side note, did you know that there's fish in the Royal Canal? I didn't. Until I squelched the bone back in my pocket and felt we flapping around. Anyway, I'm in this home. I'm stood there. Water dripping from head to toe like a Greek god. Well, more like Brandon Lee and the Crow, that's what I had in my head. I'm stood there, and I go to point at the little bastard who caused this entire scenario, and I go, You, and I shit you not, a huge fucking fish comes flying up out of the canal over the railing and it smacks him right in his face, he hits the deck. I point at another one, he comes flying at me, and another huge fucking fish comes flying out of the water and bang in his bush. This is deadly, unreal. So I just start shooting them with fish. They're all going down, hitting the deck, and they're crying their little baby faces out, running into the arms of you fine folk. So I ask you again, guard. What exactly is it you're charging me with here, hmm? <laughs>